Today is the extraordinary beginning of a new era. My name is Jared, and here we go back in time into what Treasure Mountain was before this Master of Mischief character effectively got his climate change solving device. And it seems that I'm going to be playing this game for, yes, this is also for the first time in more than two decades as well. And um, I remember some things about this game. I remember it being significantly simpler, is also more inclined to the whole single step mechanic variety of thing. Ah, uh, yes. Another flashback to my brilliantly made game design classes. Well, I wasn't responsible for the syllabus. I just simply attended them, and then I got Lyme disease, and I forgot absolutely everything I ever learned. Hehe. <laughs> Yeah, great. All right, so in any case, um, let's see what sort of adventures we have here, and uh, let's have a hop in. Oh, it looks like you got a big high name composer, Mr. Johann Sebastian, to be writing your music. I had no idea he was a 21st century man. Okay, I guess I'll learn new things about him every day. Okay, Treasure Mountain, a super solver's adventure. Yeah, Lord. The Master of Mischief has stolen the crown and hidden the treasure. What? Who are you? Why? Why am I supposed to care about this place? You must find the treasure. Take him to the top of the mountain for unknown reasons. Hidden keys can open the gateways up to the mountain. My understanding is that this is actually supposed to communicate. Read the instruction book that came with the game. But uh, whatever. Okay. The elves can help you. <laughs> Catch them in your net, get coins, clue words. This writing is boring me to a degree that I cannot even convey successfully. They will help you find treasures and the keys. As the treasure chest is filled, you will earn your stars. Why? Win the crown. How? And save Treasure Mountain. Uh, yeah, given exactly how it looks like right now, I think there are many instances which requires saving. One is that I, as Mr. Backpacker thing, person thing, and significantly not. Oh my gosh. I don't want ads. I see ads on YouTube. I don't see them in 1990 game. Okay, press enter to go on. Whatever. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Rascal. <laughs> I guess this is what happens when I get my games from the internet. Okay. Karyana. You did it again, didn't you? Okay, fine. Very well. Fine. Be that way. Alright. Fine. Okay. Hello, my name is Flutter, even though I have no opposable thumbs or system that would actually enable me to talk in any capacity. As your guide, I will give you new player hints to help you learn to play the game. Okay, fine, I don't remember hiring you. Maybe somehow you are included in the tourism package. Like, I know that to enter some countries, I remember when I went to Jordan, very interestingly, they actually require you to actually be with your tour guide at all times, and so maybe it's a bit like this. Here's the idea, maybe Treasure Mountain is actually not the, the authoritarian regime. Yeah. This song, I believe, according to my piano book, is actually supposed to be played significantly more quickly, although, yeah, <laughs> here I am in the completely empty prize room, and let's see exactly what there is. <sighs> this is not helpful. Okay, and then... Ah, these transition screens apparently remind me of a barely functioning TV set. And, um, also, yeah, I actually remember, I actually discovered this song, I believe, uh, Solfeggio or something like that because of this game. And I remember actually it was when I was 12 years old that I actually played it in the concert because I was... Okay, I want to go outside. Use spacebar to drop your net and catch elves. They have coins and clues to help you find treasures and keys. Okay, I have no idea what's going on. I think... Every single aspect of this game is just simply saying, read the instruction booklet, which I can't do. Okay, what's this? What? You must have a key to open the lock that looks like a tree. My understanding is that you fail in understanding biology in a very, very basic level. What? <laughs> now introducing our fantastic new specimen, the key tree, which I believe should probably somebody should pay many, many money things for it in order to actually get it. Okay, what am I supposed to be doing? Nets for coins. Okay, everything about this game is confusing me so much. It, maybe I actually shouldn't have had two cups of coffee instead of one. Okay, you catch... Okay, I'm thinking of something that goes like a plane, a bike, and a car, but it's not in water. It will not go very far. 
<laughs> okay. Yeah, an island. Yeah, probably an, an island would certainly... My villain island that effectively has giant gasoline engines would probably be something that goes like a plane, a bike, and a car. But my understanding is that this game has significantly limited code to is probably primitive by today's standards. And I believe that this elf does not exactly look like a creative thinker. I think that he's probably a lackey for the no child left behind, whatever. Okay. Great! You got it right! Here's your new clue word, flags. Okay. <sighs> I also remember this game having significantly different music when I played this game. Uh, thing one. Thing two is I remember there being more J.S. Bach, Beethoven, and other fun folks. And effectively there's a sign here, clubhouse, as to what variety of club, I don't know what that is. <gasps> Maybe there are drinks in there. Oh, and then it occurs to me that I was actually there. Okay, I'm supposed to find flags. Okay, what's in here? I don't want to do somersaults. It's not... Also, I can't do somersaults in real life. Makes me really think about what variety of training you really have, and something like, uh, maybe you worked in a circus at one point. Wow, it might be amazing. Okay, uh, now I think I have to find something else. Okay, press down to drop a coin. What exactly would that do? I'm not exactly certain. But, uh, I'm gonna need to find another scroll thingy, so I need to find flags, or... Okay, this one has a scroll. Okay, hello. I had three coins in my small brown sack. No comment. I put them with six other coins in my pack, then how many coins did I have in my pack? You know, there are just simply some questions that you should actually learn to figure out on your own. But, in any case, whatever. There's no clue word. Two. Okay, two flags. <sighs> yeah, this certainly don't look like Rockefeller Plaza at all. Okay. I need to find, and whatever the other clue is. Okay. <sighs> Use down to drop a treasure, drop coin, look for a treasure or a key. Okay, I'm so unbelievably confused. But, in any case, I know that I'm going to figure out this out all eventually. Find the key! Yeah, it looks like a... Yeah, maybe this is an authoritarian regime, because, you know, sometimes they do involve a lot of those. Ooh, here are two flags. Okay. What am I supposed to be doing? Oh, I got the key! Press the lock and press up to open it. But it also occurs to me that I need to find treasures instead. Okay, nets for coins. Wow, this economy is... <sighs> An interesting place, okay. Okay, down. Okay, maybe two something. Nothing in here. Okay. Uh, what am I supposed to be looking for? Okay, this looks like a flag thing. Okay. Uh, whatever, I need to find- I need to find the other elf, but it seems that he is- or she, for that matter, is extremely elusive. Okay. I'm curious exactly how many travel stories I can actually tell during the time in which it would actually ordinarily take me in order to find these. Also, don't you actually, like, get... Uh, these elf characters should probably get sick of going in circles. Well, I know that I certainly am. Okay, this looks like two something, so keep on throwing it. Okay. Great! You found a treasure! This hot in place matches two of the three clue words. Okay. <sighs> Brilliant. This music is so incredibly annoying. Okay. So, let me go in here. Okay. This looks like a foreboding place full of dragons and smugglers. Okay. I don't know what this is. It's probably. Oh, yeah, you. I was looking for you. Fur. Fear? Fear. Sir Herster. These words sound the same. Pick one more words that ends like these. And we can play the end sound game. Okay, fine, whatever. Triangle. Okay, two triangle flags. Okay, fine. Well, I guess my life is suddenly made clear with everything. Okay, I don't know what you are. Maybe you are a handkerchief or a diamond, but in any case, I have you. Maybe someone somewhere will actually value you. Oh my gosh, okay, you look triangle. Norton. Okay. The butterflies are eating me alive, help! Okay, I don't know what that's supposed to be. Okay, you were the clue. Okay, that's for coins. Yeah, advertising slogan of the century. Okay. Oh my gosh. Go around in circles and... Oh, 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 I, since I already... There are only two treasures. Okay, so... Time to use the key on the tree. I wanna... I want... Wait, am I supposed to drop a coin in order to get the tree? I wanna go up. I wanna go... I wanna go in here. What am I supposed to do? Enter the tree thing. I have the key. Okay, fine. Brilliant. Keep on going up. Wow. What is this? And another ladder? That's 
very interesting. Okay, and then for some odd reason I'm here again, with the just as equally annoying music. Okay, now I have to find two more treasures, and for some odd reason we have a zoo with absolutely no animals. Elf Crossing. I don't see any road, I don't see any anything, but I have a lot to learn about your culture. Okay, hello. Okay, some of the elves built a snowman last week. It was cute, but with its was cute with its bright black eyes and orange nose. And the sun came out and the air got warm in the snow. <laughs> I'm so tempted to answer the question in a way that would just simply be nothing but praising, but I guess that's not really the answer you're looking for, no, is it? Okay, bread, bread, okay, the sun came out. In my understanding, well, I would like it to grow, but I doubt that's the answer you have in mind, so I guess I'm just gonna learn how to think like the test taker, like an ordinary conformist. This place is having an adverse effect on me brain. Okay, onwards. Okay. Fit, hit, bit, I play this game sometimes, oh my gosh, Some, there, times like these make me wonder why I ever chose to play this game to begin with, okay, whatever, okay, three round somethings, <laughs> okay, F crossing, alright, I'm so amazed by your ecology, okay, two round somethings, uh, actually, I'll just drop a coin here and then see. That's not what I wanted to do. Whatever. Also, your reflexes are even off worse than you were in the other game. Okay, I'm gonna have to demand that you invest in a personal trainer. Okay. Alright. I'm going on a hike. Well, this place... Wow, I bet this, this is like one of those tourist attractions that somehow has a hidden meaning unless you, you, that you wouldn't know about unless you asked a tour guide about it. Okay, now here I am in the search for something three and around. But uh, very interestingly, either I'm not paying attention or I somehow can't find them. Okay, or I could actually, heaven forbid, try to find the other. Ooh, three round somethings. Okay, I got a little zither flute, pan flute thingy. I know, maybe I should become a street musician. I'll set up shot here and then people will give me the coins. But my understanding is that this game actually doesn't work like that. <laughs> Lord knows what would happen to this game if I were actually on the development team. I think that I would probably get booted off. <laughs> booted off the executive committee in a yap. Okay, I have the key. Uh, Alright. And I need to find one more treasure, and Lord knows when or if I'm ever finding this. Uh... <laughs> well. Alright. Somebody relieve me of this boredom. I'm walking around. Also, it's very interesting that absolutely no one deems me a threat in the slightest, despite the fact that I'm one significantly larger, and pretty much I'm six times the size of any of this place's inhabitants, but whatever. It seems that you're quite okay with me being here. I am more than welcome to just simply walk around unhindered. Okay. Oh, uh, my lord. Okay. So, I'm actually very curious. Uh, I think very much like the first game, there are probably going to be uh, three layers to this mountain thing, but um, as to what the first one is actually going to... last one is actually going to look like could be a significant surprise, or not. Uh, okay. But, oh, you have what I want. Okay. Help me make another word that starts with cake. Take away the C, put a new letter in its place, hake, nick, tank, yeah, obviously, okay, this game is making me brain rot, good job, super solver, you have won a clue word, okay, fine, three round nests, okay, so now I need to find round nests, okay, three nests, okay, I get that this solves all of my problems, okay, well, this game is so educational, life changing, <laughs> yeah, my understanding is that I'm just simply too old for this, but in any case, I really like entering places where I used to be, and 
they're just simply making cynical and smarty commentary all the time. You should really try that sometime, it will actually develop your rhetorical skills, and above all, actually make you better at public speaking. Actually, here's something that uh, you probably didn't know about me. I'm actually not afraid of public speaking at all. I actually really, really like it. Now, very interestingly, wait, am I supposed to go here? Oh, hoo! <laughs> Seems I got some competition with the... This is so unbelievably dangerous. Like, I think every single tour guide in Iceland or New Zealand would have probably made a... How do I put it? <laughs> Aha! There's snow here! But, um... Okay. Overall, I think that if you somehow think that hopping onto a geyser is a very, very good idea, I'm going to tell you right now that I don't think that there are any tour guides that would approve of it, and if you did that, you'd probably end up in a newspaper and not in a way you'd like. Okay, yep. Alright, base plus ball, ball birthday to Bert, <laughs> Bert House Banter. <laughs> okay. Whatever. Okay, and I, I bet the snowmen are actually the primary, the pro what's the word? I bet they're the primary export for this nation's economy. It's just my personal understanding of things. I want to go in here. Okay, woohoo. Maybe it's actually mining. What is in here, and what did I just do? Did I just end up at the bottom story? <sighs> Actually, I don't ever remember the version of the game that I actually played it as a kid, which was probably more, uh, how do I put it, not as dos as I remember this one being. I don't ever remember having, like, troll mechanics the way that one did. Okay, so, that's the coins. Okay, no, just get me back to the snowman land. I want to make new friends with new species. I want to find out how the snowmen live. I want to find out exactly what they value in life and here. No, I don't want you to do any awkward somersaults. You should probably save that for you too. I need to gear up right here. And now there were two fish. I remember distinctly there being one the first time. Although, just so when I see this video again, I'm probably going to actually notice something different than you. Awesome, what I want to see. When, what, was, where, these words all start the same. <sighs> I feel... I am at a loss for words. Pick one more word that starts the way. Okay. Starting sound game is probably the most intellectually stimulating experience I ever had. Yeah, no. Okay, three square. Okay, you, this is what apparently counts for a square. So the last one is snowman. I don't need to make an elf suffer in order to get the other one. So three square snowman. Okay, uh, I didn't. You actually mold more like a rectangular prismic prismic snowman to me, but uh, obviously it seems that you are quite different about. No, that's not what I wanted to. Fine. Also occurs to me that I got all my. No, no, I didn't get all my treasures. I need to go back up here. Also, something strikes me about this transportation system as deeply troubling and uh, not exactly accurate. Okay, no, I, oh yeah, I got the treasure. Okay, so now I have six total treasures, and now I just simply need to find some way to somehow deliver them to their intended recipient. That's exactly how that's happening, I have no clue in the slightest. Okay. Oh, look! It's a castle thing with the key! Okay. Wow, this place looks so evil. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Also, it's very interesting because, you know, in New England as a child, I was always very curious why a lot of the castles were present. And, for example, at the end of Hikes were significantly underwhelming as opposed to, like, the cool castles in a game like this. What am I doing? Okay. Wow, I have so many questions about how you actually managed to pull that off. I want to go up. Okay, whatever. I guess it's not happening. Okay, somehow you define the law of physics in that regard, and uh, exactly how you do that. So I'm actually curious. You should get a career on YouTube. And oh my God, I have. Why are you just sitting there? Shouldn't you actually somehow manage to procure your regime? Are you that confident in your physical strength or that crown? Also, it looks very purple. Okay, whatever. As long as I got Bach, I think I'm quite okay with that. Oh, you look you look angry, but also you seem to be doing absolutely nothing. Also, what are you doing? You just simply have your head indoors, and then the rest of you is out the window. Don't you somehow deem that a safety hazard? Also, there is no way you survive this. There is no way you survive this. Okay, and effectively I got one star! Yay! Okay. 
great job. You found all six treasures on the mountain this time. Keep going. You will fill the chest yet. And yeah, that sounds awfully Shakespearean. If you walk out the door to play again. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm probably going to go home and take a nap. It's probably better for my health. I bet if I managed to get all 400 treasures, I'd probably suffer from some variety of mental breakdown. But, uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, maybe I should actually learn while I'm napping to actually cultivate a spirit of loving kindness for all of humanity. That would actually be good for who I can't exactly imagine. Maybe for my own personal sense of development. Start and play or exit the game, play another game, walk out the door. Okay. <sighs> okay, I don't remember there being those little troll mechanics in which you like fall through the trap door. Also, like there are so I have so many questions about how you survive these variety of falls. Uh, at least in the other game, you had some variety of what what's the word? You had a parachute. That um, uh, and also concerning exploding coins, <laughs> I have so many questions about those. How would your economy function? with coins that manage to spontaneously combust. This would actually rewrite human history if you actually had those variety of coins. Let me actually write an entire treatise on this. Let me consult my physicist friends about exactly what having exploding coins would do for the universe. How would it change things? And if they're realistic at all. Or better yet, maybe there are some things I really shouldn't overthink. Okay, time for me to go to the post-production process. Okay, uh, two more games in this series, and then I'm going to go ahead and continue with educational, scare quotes, games, also scare quotes, from the rest of the world. That's going to be an exciting day. And as for the next time, yeah, I'm going to continue wreaking. Mm, I'm going to be practicing spirits. Like practicing and cultivating a spirit of loving kindness until the next time. And <laughs> actually, by that I mean practicing bad jokes. That's a very, very useful life skill. Okay, I'm rambling. Try to go. Time for me to go to the post production pro. Yeah. Didn't I also make the same mistake in the last episode? Post production process. This episode is brought to you by the words post production and process. Okay. Now I'm going to have to really turn the video recording software off. Have a good one, and see you next time.